Hey guys, so it is Tuesday and let me tell you, I started filming yesterday and the reason why <clears throat> this setup is like this is because I just got done filming two videos. I put myself on a schedule today, um, which it is nine o'clock and I still have one video to film, but it's a cooking video and it's going to be my breakfast. So <laughs> I, um, yeah, so I will get, actually, I don't know if I'm going to have it for, I'm still going to make the video, but I don't know if I want that for breakfast today. I think I'm really filling some yogurt. I think I want yogurt today for breakfast. Anyway, um, I am on spring break, so I'm off work this whole week, and I had a lot of plans. A lot of plans, a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing. I did some on Sunday because I wanted to kind of get a jump start, and I wanted to get some of my kind of regular stuff. Like, I cleaned the carpets on Sunday because I thought those are some things that take a little bit longer, so I didn't have anything else to do. So I went ahead and cleaned the carpets. But um, let me tell you, I started filming yesterday, and I showed you my lemon ginger water, which I have that right here, which... See, I usually have the strength by now, but because I've been making videos, I haven't been drinking. Um, I have to drink this whole thing before I can have coffee. It's 9 o'clock. I haven't had coffee yet. I've been only drinking my lemon ginger water because I'm making myself drink this full 32 ounce. If you saw my reset video I did post yesterday, you'll know I'm trying to drink this whole thing before I can allow myself to have coffee. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I got up. I did a workout. I even showed you guys, which I will show you again here. Um, I found a channel on Amazon Prime. So if you didn't know, which I didn't know, that's what I'm telling you guys. I didn't know that when you got Amazon Prime, you also got Amazon Video. Um, I mean, I found out like really soon after. I just didn't read the emails or the information. Um, but, um, sorry, I'm looking at my iPad so I can tell you what the channel's called. So I didn't know you got like Prime Video. So when I figured that out, I realized there's like channels on Amazon Video. And um, I have the Lifetime Movie Channel, of course. Um, but other than that, you know, I didn't know that there was channels. So I recently discovered like this weekend, um, I've actually, I've been known about Amazon Video now for like over a year, but when I first got it, I didn't know. But I didn't know this channel existed. And it wasn't until I was looking up some exercise videos to do on Amazon Prime um, that I discovered this channel called Be Fit, and you can do a trial. It's six ninety nine after the trial, but you can do a seven day trial. So I thought this is a perfect week to do the trial because I'm on spring break. I can really just utilize it and see if there's enough things on there that I want. There is mostly, as far as like name people, um, Denise Austin. All of Denise Austin stuff is on here, which I'm sure most of you guys know who she is. Um, and her stuff is actually pretty motivating. Um, it's just some of it's kind of old and so it's kind of, it, it's, I don't know, it kind of comes off being a little bit cheesy on some of her stuff. And she has like kind of like old school kind of aerobics things and some of the things, but it, it's really good workouts and I actually have been playing around with some of them. But there was one on here that was a workout program and it's a 30 day fat burn and it's only a little bit over 10 minutes for each of the segments. And I thought, what is 10 minutes gonna do for you? What is it gonna do for you? So I start, I did one yesterday and it was so intense because you do not rest at all in the entire 10 minutes. There is no, they, as you're, they're doing the exercise, they're explaining it. So it's, it's like boom, 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 boom. And then there's this like last like two minutes is just this intense cardio. It is crazy. So you use weights. So I use five pound weights and I'll tell you what, today I am sore, 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 sore. I mean, so sore. And it was only 10 minutes. I could not believe it. But here's the bummer. So I did that workout. I take a shower. Come out here to do my makeup. Um, my All my makeup's in. I don't have a vanity, which I really want to get a vanity. Um, I've been looking at some on Amazon. Anyway, I keep my makeup out here in a drawer. And I just do it at my desk. And... Um, I was reaching back to put something into my purse and my shoulder popped out. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I have a bad shoulder. And um, I've had it since high school. And you guys know, but don't also know that I, it's only been less than a month since I did it last, since I popped it out last and my husband was able to get it back in. This time my husband was at work. And if you guys, again, are longtime viewers, you know that he works out in the woods because he's a log truck driver. So I try calling him just to like, at this point, like I'm kind of panicking. I always have bad panic attacks when this happens. I'm kind of panicking, but I'm trying to stay calm because I know it's only me and the kids here. And my kids are 18 and 20, so it's not like they're super young, but 
um, one was asleep. <laughs> so, um, this was like eight, eight o'clock, I would say seven thirty-eight, <clears throat> And so I was just thought maybe my husband can tell me how he got back in the last time and just keep me calm. And so I had him on speakerphone and he was trying to tell me he, he was, I could tell he was staying really calm, which in these situations, he has his own issues with anxiety and panic attacks, but it's when there's something happening to him. But if it's something happening to me or the kids or something, he is like the calmest. I think it comes from his background of being a police officer and a firefighter in his earlier life. And, um, it has, he just has like, he is great in emergency situations. I've been talking since 7.30 filming videos, so my throat is dry. Um, so anyway, he was trying to talk me and tell me how he did it. And he's like, oh, you're going to have to get, um, um, our old, my oldest or his oldest that lives here, my stepson, um, to get him. Cause we knew he was awake and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know? So he's like, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to go in there and get him. Well, meanwhile, my son comes out cause he heard me out here and he just instantly, like, I think it just upset him. And so he ran in there to get, um, to get the other one. And so they came out and with the phone, you know, my husband's on speakerphone and was trying to tell him how to get it back in and it just was not working. And so I'm like, I'm just going to have to go to the hospital. I'm just going to have to, I don't know what else to do. And I thought, you know, they're just going to have to drive me to the hospital. And so I try to get out of my chair and I can't get out of my chair. And it's like, my husband's like, oh, I, I've tried to explain this to him so many times. It is so weird when, and my chair, meanwhile, like I, I need to get a new desk chair. So it kind of lowers on its own and with us pushing and stuff on my arm. And I was in so much pain. I can't even explain the pain to you guys either. But, um, as he was pushing on my arm, it was pushing my chair down. And so my chair was like really low to the ground. I could not get up because I was trying to explain to my husband. It's like, it's this weird, like pressure. It's almost like something is holding you down in your chair. You cannot get up. The only way I was able to get out of my chair was by getting on my knees and then getting up that way. And it's like, cause it's a different motion that you use. So I find, so I'm just like, and this is meanwhile, like it's been probably 30 minutes. No, no, probably not that long. 20, maybe 20 minutes. Um, and the longer it's out, the harder it is to get back in and the more painful it gets. So I knew we had to hurry. So we just had to get to the hospital, but unfortunately we're like eight, nine miles away from the hospital. And so, um, we just, I thought, okay, just have to. So I finally was able to get up and standing. And as I started walking, it just went back in. So I don't know if it was just the way I was holding it, the way that he was pushing on it, if it, it just went back in. But here's the thing. If it's falling out, that sounds kind of weird. That's what my husband keeps saying is falling out. But if it's coming out that easily when I'm doing things that are not even strenuous and it's going back in just as easily, then it's time for me to have surgery. So but I'm going to have to plan it because... We have a, my insurance is like $5,000 deductible and, um, I want to build up some of my sick leave because I can't afford to be off work. So I want to plan it to where I'm hoping it, cause I know as soon as I go to the doctor, they're going to want to plan surgery right away. And so I'm hoping to kind of push it off till December, um, because I'll have two weeks off for the holidays at work. And then if I have my sick leave, cause I'll get another 96 hours of sick leave in January. I mean, in July, cause our weeks start every July, our years at work start in July. And I think I have like a hundred and well, I had to use a bunch when I was sick. I was sick for an entire week when I had the flu. So I missed a week of work. So I think I'm down to like 80 something. So I'll have, you know, like 180 hours of sick leave, which is what like, 40. So that's like three, four weeks, over four weeks. So, and then plus the two weeks I'm off. So I could, you know, I could not miss any work. I mean, I could not miss any pay. So that is, I just have to plan it. And that's there. The doctors are just going to have to deal with that. And I'm just going to have to deal with that because I have to plan it like that, you know, because I'm already going to have like a huge hospital bill and I'm hoping to save as much money as I can between now and then. So it's just, it's just going to have to happen, but not right now. So meanwhile, I have to be really super careful. So I just kind of put my day off. I was kind of in a bummer mood. So I thought, you know what? I have a lot of cleaning and organizing I want to get done, but obviously I couldn't do that yesterday because I, and even now I'm, I think I'm going to have to wait until Wednesday to do the Wednesday and Thursday to do like the really intense cleaning I need to do like my son's bedroom and we want to take the bunk beds out and stuff, but, um, I can do the light cleaning. So yesterday I just made it a filming day. I just filmed videos and kind of came up with some recipes I want to share with you guys. And I 
did um, film one recipe, no, two recipe videos. Um, so that was what I did yesterday. I still worked, but it was just, um, it just was the easy stuff. So the thing with the exercising though, this is what makes me so mad because this happened once before with exercising. Um, my body is just like with my arm. I just can't, I can't. And I think that's what happened yesterday. I, I was using five pound weights and which I know doesn't seem like a lot, but when you don't use weights at all ever, and my arms are like telling me right now, five pounds was pretty intense for me. Um, I think it loosened up my shoulder because there's a lot of the, and I'm not going to demonstrate with this, this arm. I'm going to demonstrate with this arm. There's a lot of these like this, and then you had to cross over and cross like this with the weight. And there was a lot of these like flying up and going down and all with the weight and, um, just some bicep curls. And then there was ones like this. And I mean, it was, and it was only 10 minutes, but it was enough where I think it may have loosened up my shoulder a little bit. And that's why it happened. Cause it happened literally like I did the exercise, took a quick shower, came out here and it did it. So that's the only thing I can think of why it was so, I mean, and the last time I don't remember if there was anything that could have been that it did. So I just have to be intensely careful. I mean, like I have to be, and all I did was go like this to throw something in my purse. And it, when I brought it back is when I felt it do it. I'm just not going to use this arm. That's, that's all there is to it. I don't have a, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a left arm. <laughs> that's how I kind of feel. I'm just, I don't know what else to do. I just have to be so careful. But even doing my hair, like I can't even get, like I have these pieces in the back. I'm almost like, want to beg my son. This is when I wish I had girls because there's like some pieces I can feel that I, cause I can't do it with this hand. Like I, I do it with this hand, but I need this hand to be able to get to the hair and hold it up. So I almost want to like, cause I have to go to town today. I almost want to just, um, have him do it for me, but that's poor kid. That's embarrassing for him. He's an 18 year old boy. Um, but Anyway, maybe I'll just deal with it. It's probably not that bad, but there's just little things like, I mean, sorry, but putting my bra on, it was, I mean, I'm just going to have to, I, I scared me because I didn't even think about it. I went and did it and I was afraid to bring my arm back. So I'm just going to have to do the whole, like do it in front and roll it around and do it. I don't know. I, I'm just going to have to modify. I'm going to pretty much have to, and I thought I had, I had, used to have like tons of slings because this used to happen constantly, but I couldn't find any of my slings. I think I threw them all out when I did my last big closet purge. Um, so I might have to pick one up because I need to have one. But it's almost like I need to put my arm in a sling to not use it. I don't know. But um, at least when I'm at home. When I'm at work, it's not a big deal because um, I'm not having to make any movements like that. Like everything's right here in my drawer or everything's over here with this. I mean, there's no, as everyone's standing in front of my desk. So it's not as big of a concern at work, but I'm just, I have to have it constantly in the front of my mind because I have to make this until December and I have to, um, yeah, I just, I can't let this happen anymore. It is so painful. I'm in so much pain today. I was taking some of my husband's, um, ibuprofen that he'd gotten when he hurt his wrist that he didn't take. And so I was taking some of those and it was taking the pain away, but, um, I took, well, I took one and it, it kept the pain away all day, but I don't, I don't know. I don't like prescription pain meds. So I've just been taking regular ibuprofen, but I am, it just hurts so bad today. Um, but anyway, so it is now 9, 12, cause I've talked for 13 minutes. Okay. So I guess it's 9, 13, but anyhow, I'm going to go make some breakfast and I'll show you that. Um, there are are going to be some foods throughout this week that I'm going to be filming for videos that I'm trying out. So I will show them to you because I know a lot of people don't watch these day in the life vlogs because they're usually longer. Um, but, um, I will also show more. I'm going to, I'm doing a lot of videos, cooking videos this week. So over the next couple weeks, you guys will be getting quite a few of those. And what else do I have left today? So I just want to do some light cleaning. Um, I have, I don't have any more filming to do besides a couple recipe videos. And then I have to go to the bank and Marshall's is right next to the bank. So I haven't been in Marshall's in a while. So I thought I'd pop in there and then I got to pick up some milk for my husband. And, um, other than that, that's all I have to do. So I kind of put myself on a little bit of a time schedule so I can get everything done before my husband gets home. And then that's when I just do my editing and things like that after he's home. Cause I can talk to him while I'm doing that. So I just want to get the bulk of my stuff done. I'm doing laundry in between that kind of thing. So I really, 
these are not going to be very exciting vlogs, but you guys said you wanted to see them, so I will try to just keep you updated on things. Yeah, keep you updated on things. I think tomorrow I'll have a little bit more to show you because I think I'm going to do my pantry and my refrigerator and freezer, so I will show you the before and after on those, which... I wanted to wait to kind of do my refrigerator because it's really super full right now from meal prep and just from leftovers that we've already had this week. So I was kind of hoping to go through some of those, but it may not happen. So we will see. Um, oh, I will do another video on this. I just got a email about a, um, a Teamy sale they're having. So Teamy is having a big Easter sale. So I think I'll do that in a separate video so I can just give you guys the code for that because I'm always having people ask me about Teamy. So I'll just do a short little video on that. I'll probably do that when I'm like on my way to the way to town. That way I can, you know, get that done and I can um, not have to sit here and do it and I can multitask. That's what that's called, multitasking. So. I will be back when I have you have something to show you that I am eating right now just water I'm gonna make some coffee I need to get this down I need to quit talking so I can drink my water and then um, get my coffee but healthy lifestyle reset is going amazing I start on Sunday have not had any slip-ups so it is going really really good so watch that video I think I gave some really good tips oh so as far as exercise I forgot to finish my thought I'm just gonna do walking videos. Denise Austin has a really good indoor walk on here that I did this morning. It has three different miles, so I did two of them for 30 minutes. Um, I have my Leslie videos. I'm just gonna to stick to walking, and it's not gonna make results as fast as I want them to make, but I'm just gonna to have to do it. I can also do some lower body and ab stuff too. So I'm gonna build, there's a lot on this BeFit channel. It has a lot of um, like specialized videos where it's only abs or only lower body. So I can do some of that work too. I just can't do any like planks, things like that. So I'm gonna to have to watch some of the videos and add them to my like watch list. Um, that way I can have ones that I, don't have to use any of my upper body, my shoulders or anything on. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing for exercise this week. I will let you guys know, I'll show you guys those things as I, um, I'll show you right now the Denise Austin one and then some of the other ones. The BeFit channel, and again, like I said, it's $6.99 if you purchase it, it's $6.99 a month, um, but you do have the seven day free trial. Um, for me, $6.99, if I can find enough stuff in here that I think I'll do, and you can cancel it in a month at any time, you're not, you're not like, um, you're not like buying it for a full year or anything. You can cancel anytime. We've done that with a lot of different channels. Like, I do the HBO one when Game of Thrones is on, and then I just get rid of it after that's over. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so here's some of like the popular programs. Is this, and it's like I said, there's a lot of Denise Austin. Um, these are the workout programs. This is the one that I did yesterday. This is the BeFit 30 Day Burn. Um, they also have just quite a few other ones here. And these are just all workouts. Like when you go into them, there's just a different, different episode for each one of them. And then we have cardio. Tons and tons of cardio. Then we have abs and core. And again, there's a ton of them. And there's yoga. Um, dance fitness, body sculpting and strength. Um, there's hit workouts, Pilates and bar, 10 minutes or less, and then beginner workouts. So let me find the one, the indoor walk one. I have to go. This should be. Oh, this one right here. So this is the indoor walk one that I did this morning. So I did it on my TV. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so yeah, um, so you might just check it out if you have Amazon Prime. Just go ahead and check it out and do it for a week and just see if there's anything in here that would interest you and maybe do it for a couple months and pay for it and see what um, if it's something you'll use. So I think I'm going to go through today at some point, probably after my husband's home when he's like doing his stuff. I'm going to go through these abs ones and find some that look like I can do that won't use my arms. Like I obviously can't do that one, um, but you know, more of the floor stuff and, and put some of those on my watch list. And I think I'll do look through some of these body sculpting and strength ones for some lower body stuff as well. So yeah, 
Um, I may be able to do some of this hit stuff as long as there's no like arm swinging or anything too. So I don't know. I just, I think now I have a different focus. I need to now look for stuff that's not going to use my arms, which is terrible because my arms are one of my like things that I really need to work on besides my apps. So I will show you guys my food when I have it. Show you guys a little um, food find that I got at Grocery Outlet. Um, and these were really cheap. The grocery Outlet, that's what I love about their stuff. They have like just interesting things like this. So they're freeze dried strawberries. I think this package was like $1.49. They do scan as points, but I, it's one of these things I don't agree with. Like it is only strawberries. There's no added anything to it. Let's see there. Like I said, it's just, just strawberries. There's a nutrition facts. I don't know. I mean, sure. I think they do that because <clears throat> what I've heard about dried fruit, even no sugar added dried fruit in um, freeze dried is because you could like I could easily eat this whole entire bag but even if I did eat this whole entire bag it would only be 120 calories it's only three servings this bad it only be 120 calories it would be no fat there would only be 21 grams of carbohydrates and it would be six grams of fiber which is amazing and the sugars are all natural so even if I did hold, eat the whole bag it would be six points for this whole bag but I don't agree with it it's one of those things where I just don't count points for Sorry, but anyway, if you guys see these, they're really super good, yummy, and they are super crunchy as well. I'm going to pick some more of these up before the end of the week. Okay, so here is breakfast. Um, it just says some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I added down some PB2, which I hate when I make my PB2 when I put too much water in it and it makes it all runny, but it still tastes the same. So PB2, some raw organic honey, one teaspoon for one smart point, one, one point for the PB2 and a banana. Also some cinnamon on there that you cannot see. So this is going to be my breakfast for two smart points. Probably the next time I see you because I'm going to go run and do some laundry. Do I'm going to try to clean the bathroom. So I'll probably see you next when I'm in the car going to Marshall's and to the bank. Okay, so I'm going to make me iced coffee before I go. I take to take with me actually. So I've already put in some of this vanilla skinny syrup in there. I'll use some fat-free milk, but the Ninja Coffee Makers have what they call a over ice brew, so you don't need to adjust anything on here because it does it automatically. So I have some ice in here, my syrup, and I'm just going to press this button, and then it will start brewing over ice. And what it does is it's just not as hot of a um, <clears throat> brew that comes out, so it doesn't melt your ice. So I will show you what my coffee looks like when it is all done. Okay, so here it is and normally I don't even think about it I like to do more more coffee when these ones and I use the wrong side of my scoop the ninja scoop comes with two different sizes a small one and a big one and I normally do two of the big ones and I did two of the small ones so it's a little bit lighter than I like but and then I have six ounces of fat-free milk which is two smart points so I'm just gonna I may not need it all because, yeah it looks like I just used two ounces of fat-free milk so I think that's only like one smart point so this coffee will just be one smart point hey guys so I am heading out I'm about 20 minutes ahead of schedule but I did not vacuum um, I remembered I want to redo my little baking cupboard which you guys want to see out if I, whatever video I do it in I'll let you guys know um, I'll, I'm not gonna do a separate video for it because it's just a little tiny cabinet and that's the problem is it's a little tiny cabinet and it has like where I keep my flour, my sugar, all my like um, big bags of like Splenda I buy and the big bags of Stevia I buy. So it's like all that stuff. Um, and I keep like cinnamon down there. I keep all, I keep those spices separate from my other spices. So I have like ginger and nutmeg and just all those types of things down there. And it's just a mess because it's a little tiny cupboard, but it would be perfect. It's perfect for that because it's right there where I do all of it. So when I like bake and stuff, it's like right under the counter. So I think I'm going to stop by the Dollar Tree and pick up some little containers and just start putting that stuff in containers because what's happening is like the flour bags are opening up. I have one in there already for flour, but it had, there's whole wheat flour in there. So I need just another one. I have one for sugar, which I don't have any sugar actually. I think we're, I don't know, maybe it has a mountain crush. Anyway. Um, I have a few of them already, but I need some smaller ones to put like the baking soda and baking powder 
and um, the artificial sweeteners and that kind of thing. So I figured since, oh, I didn't mean to go this way because they're doing, they're doing construction down here and yesterday I got stuck forever. I meant to go around. Darn it. Anyway, um, so I am going to um, go to Dollar Tree. So I had one more store to add on and I really want to get this done before lunch because I don't want to be out and about at lunchtime. Mainly because what I'm having for lunch today, I'm going to film a little quick video on it. Um, I'm doing three easy and simple lunch ideas. So I'm having the next three days, the things I'm having for lunch, which you'll see, are going to also be in a video, in one video. Because I feel like I have a ton of people always ask me, um, okay, I wanted to get through the construction. So I have a ton of people always ask me, oh, what video was it that you showed this and you showed that? And it's like, uh, I don't know. So I'm going to start, if I'm doing, you know, quite a few days of new recipes in my daily vlogs, I think I'm just going to put them all in one video. So then that way I can point you guys to that video. So I'm going to have two breakfasts that I made one yesterday. So you guys didn't see that. Um, I did film that and then I'm going to have one probably tomorrow, but I think I'm going to film it today because it's one that you can prep ahead, which is nice too. So I'm going to, I will have a, a video with three easy lunch ideas and two breakfast ideas. I'm not going to get them posted probably till next week. So I'm going to, I seriously guys, I have last counted, I think 12 videos that I'm filming this week. So it'll be a ton of editing time. I got the reset video up yesterday because I, I didn't vlog the rest of the day. I went ahead and just, um, edited that one but the rest of the videos that I'm filming that I'm gonna be editing throughout this whole week and the weekend and just getting them up over the next couple weeks I really wanted to film so I had some videos to put up for you guys over the next few weeks so so they will be out but just not um, necessarily like next week because uh, I have so much time to do to them so there may other be other things added to these videos as well but um, for sure, you're going to have three easy and simple lunch ideas and two easy breakfast ideas. And then I did a taco soup recipe and what other recipes? Do I, and that was coming up April 1st. And I can't remember what else I have planned as far as food. Oh, I have a really fun one. And I just kind of discovered this um, from a snack that I had this weekend. And I came up with other ones to go along with it. So it's kind of fun. I don't want to give it away but it's wraps different wraps but they're not like lunch wraps they're gonna be like breakfast or dessert wraps and the one I had this weekend was really good and it was just something I kind of came up with on a whim and I came up with two other ones to go along with it so there's three of them and I may come up with more as I'm filming them so I'm gonna film that either today or tomorrow and the kids can just eat them <laughs> and I'll have one for a snack and um, so there's lots coming up so that's what I've been really doing um, but I'm going to run to Marshall's and I have to go to the bank. I have not deposited my husband's last two paychecks because we've been sick. And luckily I had all the money I was going to pay my taxes with in my account. So that's what we've been using. So, um, I got I have to pay my taxes. So I have to get my checks in the account. So I'm going to go do that. And then, um, at Marshall's, what I'm looking for is besides just the fun stuff they always have there. Um, there, I they, I really like there. They always have really cute cardigans and like you know just so, you know kind of like sweaters, like not like sweater sweater, but light ones. And I even in the summertime when it's warm, it's still really super cold in our office. So I like to have you know some sort of like sweater I can just throw on and then I can take off if it gets too warm. Um, but I only have like I have like this black one and then I have a black one with a white polka. No, I have a black one with like um, tan colored polka dots. I have a gray one. I have a tan one with black polka dots and I have another black one and another black one and another gray and black one. So that's all I, I mean, literally it's like all just drab colors. So I want to find some kind of bright summery color ones and Marshall's last I looked, they had some stuff like that. So I hope they still do. So I kind of dressed for it. I just wore my black one and then, I, then that way I can just, I don't have to like go into the dressing room and try them on. I can just try them on right there. So I planned for that. And then I really need some black pants for work. I have a pair of one pair and that's it that fit me. I have another pair, but I don't really like how they look because they're kind of on the border of being a little bit too big. So, and I always resist buying pants though, because as I'm losing weight and going down sizes, I don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes, but it's, sometimes it's a necessity for work. So I usually 
try to buy clothes that I can wear for work or outside of work. And we're pretty casual work, but we still, we're only really supposed to like wear jeans like one day a week, although sometimes I do too. If I know we don't have a meeting or I'm gonna be seeing anybody besides just sitting at my desk. Uh, but for the most part, we're supposed to, you know, dress like kind of business casual. So um, I do need a pair of black pants. And sometimes I buy like kind of that are closer to jeans, which is the ones I have now. So I can kind of pass off their like, but they're dark enough where they don't really look like jeans. So that's what I like to wear. So I'm hoping I can find a pair. The last time I went there, I tried on like three pairs. And that's the only thing about things like with Marshalls and like Ross is that, you know, they kind of fit kind of funky sometimes. So that is my plan for Marshalls. And I, um, We'll see what else I end up with. I will show you whatever I end up getting, if anything, but I almost always walk out of there with at least something, even if it's some little like household decor stuff. I can get really, um, go like overboard there. So, and then Ross is not right next to Dollar Tree, but I think, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the time is because I really would like to be home by 1 30 because I do have to go to Walmart and get, um, a toilet seat of all things because the boys' toilet seat is broken which we had no idea that it was until I went in there and cleaned their bathroom. Um, so I have to pick up a toilet seat and I have to get milk and then I'm almost out of all my candle melt thingies that I use in my wax warmers. And so I have to pick up some of those. I need some spring. I only have a bunch of fall and winter ones, so I need some spring ones. And I want to pick up a couple candles because I'm just too broke to do Bath and Body Works right now. So I'm going to do a couple candles get a couple candles from there some more spring and summery type ones because I only have fall ones right now so that is my Walmart list and I will show you whatever I end up picking up I'll show you what scents and stuff I end up getting um, for my candle wax warmer thingy whatever those things are called so I will talk to you all when I get home and or if it's something just a couple things that Marshall's ought to show you in the car but I'll talk to you soon bye Hi guys, so it is one o'clock, so I am back home from the bank, Marshalls and Walmart. I did not go to Dollar Tree, so let me show you my little Marshalls and Walmart haul, and then I will show you my lunch, and then the rest of the day is just going to be editing and just like I said, just vacuuming, and that's it. So I won't have much to show you till dinner. So we'll do Marshalls first. Um, I did not find any cardigans. I like I found one, but it. The color was gray and I it was a light gray but I told you guys I did not want to do any gray or black so I could not find any colored ones so I did find this top so it's just a long sleeve top um, that I can wear to work so there's that and I did find the black pants I need and they are kind of jeans but not but they are definitely a material that I can get away with um, anyway, they're like ankle pants, so they'll be great for, for the summer because they just go right up to your, just to the top of your ankle. So I can just wear my cute flats that I have. I have a ton of flats. I love flats. So I have a ton of flats so I can wear these with those. So I did find some pants. So at least part of it was, um, part of it was accomplished. I did pick up some of these apple chips. These are another thing I don't count points for, but I do just make sure I stick to the serving size. So the serving size is a half a cup. But these do stand as points. But the, really the only ingredient in this, um, where are the ingredients? Oh, ingredients. This one happens to have apple, salt, allspice, cinnamon, and cloves, but there's nothing else. So anyway, I just thought those sounded good. I picked up some makeup wipes. I like to keep makeup wipes in my um, bathroom to like, wash off my face and then I keep another one by my makeup in the in the um, living room where I do my makeup. But anyway, I was out of the ones in my bathroom pretty much. So I picked these up. I got another um, like a makeup sponge. My other one is getting very um, ragged. I got these actually from my son's um, lunches so he really likes the cannon bars this is dark dark chocolate chunk I don't know how many points usually kind bars are about six or seven points so I don't know how many this ones are and then these are the little jars I found I thought these were so cute so these were $4.99 they are eight ounces so I thought these would be perfect for like the baking soda and baking powder and then maybe salt 
So I thought these would be perfect for those. So I'm going to have those. And then it has like the chalkboard, which I don't have a chalkboard pen. I'm going to have to get one. Um, oh, another thing I need to do this week is paint my nails. Um, but anyway, I don't really, I mean, maybe the baking soda and, and baking powder for now. I'll need to put something on. But hold on. My dog wants out. He wants in, then he wants out. Anyway, I thought these were perfect size for these, and I thought they were adorable. So um, I'm going to use these for my baking covered project, which again will probably be tomorrow, so I'll show you a before and after on that. And then I got two candles at Walmart. Oh my goodness. These are like the three wick candles that are only like, I don't know, $4. So I got the blue hy hyacinth. I think that's how you say it. These are the only spring ones I had. They're just kind of stock the spring ones yet. So this one is sweet apple. So I know apple's more of a false scent, but I love apple candles. I buy always buy some. Then I got a ton of the. I always go overboard with these because they're only two dollars. But these are like the candle melts. I have like two warmers. So I got the honeysuckle pineapple. I got sweet pea, which I buy every all the time because I love it. Got a strawberry peach, which I've never had before. I got lilac flowers which right now I have a lilac wallflower in my front room so I thought this would be perfect for that then I got guava peach this one smells really good and lastly I got moon garden so it says blooming paper whites I was trying to find gardenia it's one of my favorite scents but I couldn't find that okay guys so I'm getting ready to eat lunch so I thought I'd show you what I came up with so this is a veggie and hummus sandwich. So it is five smart points. It has hummus and some fat-free feta, avocado, bell pepper, cucumbers, radishes. Oh, I, I filmed it and there's spinach. I filmed it so you can see how I put it all together. Super simple. Just, I wanted to give you guys some just easy, quick and easy um, lunch ideas because I know everybody's always asking for them and sometimes it's just hard to come up with, you know, what you want to have for lunch. I had some hard-boiled eggs I wanted to use up that were in the fridge, so I have two of those. And I have some pineapple I had to use up. So, here we go. Five Smart Point Lunch. Hi, guys. So, it is about 3.30, and I thought I'd just check in with you. It, um, my husband is on his way home from work, so I'm just, I am just finishing up for the day. So, I planned everything just right. Um, I just have one load of laundry in the washer that just got done, a load in the dryer that's done. I have to fold and put the other one in the dryer. But other than that, everything is done. I did my vacuuming, I did reply to comments. So now I just wanna settle down and start my editing because I have a ton of stuff to edit. So I thought I would just sign off here, but I will show you my dinner when it is done. I had some points left over, so I'm just gonna do the, the salsa verde chicken, which is gonna, and I'm gonna do a full cup of rice since I have the points. So I think I'm gonna end my day with 17 points. Oh, I'm gonna have a salad with dinner. So that'll be um, two points for the dressing. So I'll end up with 19 out of 23, which means I'll roll over four. So there we go. So that'll be my day. So I will show you my dinner. And but this will probably be the last time you see my face. Tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow's gonna be mostly organizing and cleaning. So I will be sharing all that with you guys. So it might be a little bit more exciting than today's video, but I just wanted to catch up with you guys and let you know how things have been going. Cause I really haven't talked to you since last like Thursday, really? Yeah. Like talk to you, talk to you like this. So this is more of like a let's chat, let's catch up video. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you all tomorrow, but stay tuned for my dinner.